Hello, my wonderful Pisces. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of your love life. So it's going to be your general love reading for the week here. Uh, so pretty much whatever comes out for you guys. Okay, guys, so we have one card here. It says longing. Someone is secretly yearning for you. Okay. Hmm. So it could be someone that you're currently not speaking to. Maybe it is a secret admirer energy, but let's see here. Someone is secretly yearning for you. <clears throat> Why do I feel like it's someone who is either having a hard time, you know, uh, being vulnerable or they really want to reach out to you and, um, you know, tell you that they miss you or they really want to, you know, open a conversation here, but maybe they're just keeping their emotions to their self. So yeah, strength card on the bottom of the deck that speaks about being held back, you know, remaining very composed could be an individual that's a bit hard to read. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo split the deck. Yeah, double Leo energy, the sun card. I feel like something is going to come to light about a person that is held back though. Like even if they're, um, you know, held back from you, but they're missing you, you're somehow going to figure out whether it's because they open up or whether it's because, you know, through like word of mouth or you guys have mutual friends, like what is in the dark is going to come to light is essentially what I'm getting here. Okay, guys, so I'm going to start off by seeing how this person is currently viewing you. Knight of Pentacles, okay. They're viewing you in a pretty uh, premeditated energy at this time, Pisces. They're viewing you as someone who is, um, you could be working towards some sort of a goal here, so they may feel like you know your focus is on that, or they feel like you are kind of just being very cautious. So like, you know, you are not, you're, you're being careful with what you share with this individual, or they feel like you're taking your time and being patient when it comes to this connection. There's absolutely no rush here, and this person feels like you're, uh, not really in an impulsive energy. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, Empress, the Seven of Cups. This is a very interesting um, energy here, guys, because what I see in the mutual energy is um, someone who has a desire for you, someone who holds you on a very high pedestal here, but there's a lot of mixed signals that are occurring between the both of you. So whether this is like a person that you can sense, yeah, they have emotions for me and they tell me kind things and they've made me promises, but then sometimes their actions don't go hand in hand with what they say. Um, I feel like there's a desire here, but I also feel like there's like a series of mind games or there's some sort of mixed signals, whether it's, you know, you guys, like it could be a connection that's very on and off or when you guys are hanging out together, it's amazing. But when you guys are apart, there's some sort of suspicion or assumptions that are me that are being made. So some of you could be dealing with the Libra Taurus. We have Scorpio energy. Okay, three of wands is how you're viewing them. You're viewing them as someone who is at a distance from you. So quite literally, there's physical distance between the both of you, or you could be viewing them as someone who is being distant with you, like emotionally. And it makes sense because uh, the first card, they're longing. It says someone is secretly, keyword secretly, yearning for you. So you feel like the, you know, there's some sort of emotional distance here, but you also feel like this person is focused on you. So your question here is why are you sending me mixed signals or why are you not just reaching out to me? Why are we not able to, you know, get things started or get things off the ground here? So in your feelings, we have the Ace of Cups, okay? And we have the Eight of Cups. What's the Eight of Cups? The world. Do you feel like this is someone who missed the opportunity to have some sort of a beginning in love with you? Or maybe you feel like things ended before they actually started here? Because Ace of Cups and Eight of Cups is interesting. It's it's a very interesting energy. It could either be you feel like this person, you know, missed an opportunity to have a new beginning with you, or you feel like you uh, chose to walk away from a new beginning because there was something that was missing or something that you didn't necessarily trust. So take it how it resonates here, guys. But with the world, it does speak about a cycle closing, something coming to an end, okay? And then we also have the Page of Wands, interesting. And the Ten of Wands. 
there is a lot of excitement here, but it's almost like you feel that something felt very heavy or burdensome about this connection also with the Ten of Wands. Because it's very interesting to me that the Ace of Cups is coming out with the Eight of Cups. It's almost like viewing a connection as a missed opportunity or feeling like when there was, like, like for example, if there was an opportunity that presented itself to the both of you for you guys to have a fresh new start, to get things, uh, to, to you know, uh, start off on the right foot here, you feel like it was more so ignored or it wasn't really, the opportunity uh, was something that your person was not acting on. And with the world, the Page of Wands as well as the Ten of Wands, there's something here that you feel like requires a lot of effort, whether it's to have a new beginning, whether it's to, um, you know, maybe get 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 things back to where, you know, they first were. There's something here that you feel like requires a lot of work, but you're almost feeling very burdened by it. And the Ten of Wands could also uh, speak of when you feel like all the responsibility is yours. So maybe for some of you, you're not really thinking about a new beginning because you feel like you would have to put forth all the effort or you remember that, you know, you were the one who was kind of the glue or you were the one who was kind of overextending yourself in the relationship in the past here. And for many of you, you may just want a turn of events as well, like for yourself with the world and the page of wands that could speak about closing out a very heavy cycle and moving towards something that feels more fun, lighthearted, optimistic. Empress is being clarified by the Judgment card. So this speaks about a realization or a wake-up call. And we also have the Queen of Wands. What's the Queen of Wands? The Two of Swords. The Judgment is Justice. What I see here, Pisces, is not only um, a realization or your person waking up to a connection here, I think what's standing out to this person is they were not able to make a decision and there's something here that the that they don't see clearly. Seven of Cups and Two of Swords could be either like an extremely confused energy or feeling very uncertain about a decision because when you look ahead or when you think about the future, you feel like something is missing or there's something more so you can't see clearly. I think that this person is waking up to the connection in terms of wanting to make things right with you, but this may be someone who feels like they kept their options open or, you know, when they met you, they were um, like, this may be someone who thrives off of your attention or you feel like when you're giving them attention, everything is fine. But when it comes down to maybe, um, you know, speaking about a commitment or when it comes down to maybe when you're upset about something, you don't feel like the energy is being reciprocated. There's something about comparisons or there's an energy of you feeling um like upset because you feel like this person was keeping their options open while they were connecting with you but what i see is yes they want to make things right with you but there's some sort of illusions that they're having a hard time seeing past and for others of you you may view it as this person is creating some sort of an illusion because they are not making a decision or they are you know telling you so many different things because they don't want to stick to one thing or 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 uh, make a firm decision here is the best best way for me to boil down that energy two of swords six of pentacles this person could be giving to more than one situation okay or they or you feel like even if it's not another person involved you do feel like this person is neglecting the situation or breadcrumbing you in one way or another Okay, what's in their feelings? Five of Swords, so a lot of mental conflict here, and the Temperance. Conflicted about how to bring some sort of peace or harmony between the both of you. You know what I see here, Pisces? It's actually a very simple message. I think that the mind games or the mixed signals are what's overcomplicating this situation. This is someone who is missing you. This is someone who enjoys your company. But when it comes to working together with you, they may be an overthinker. They may overanalyze the situation or talk themselves out of it. The second thing I will say here is this may be someone who did not expect to want a connection as soon as they did. So for example, if they were like non-committal or they did not expect to fall for anyone, but they fell for you, they were unable to let go of a lifestyle or they were unable to um, clearly make a decision because it's something that they're not used to. Because what I see is there's regret for neglecting a situation with you and there's also mental conflict when it comes to coming together. But I feel like what's causing this mental conflict is some sort of illusions or like this person may feel a certain way, but they mask it with like mixed signals or they mask it with like just telling you a whole a whole bunch of different things or they keep their options open. Like how they're feeling versus how they act is very different. Like obviously it could be a coping mechanism, but I see it as someone who's like 
okay, well, if I just make, um, you know, a temporary decision, or if I just continue to go out more or talk to multiple people, then I can forget about it. But they're realizing they can't really forget about you or this connection. Because in their feelings, we have the five of swords, the temperance, okay, knight of wands and the tower. This is someone who may even feel like you call them out on their behavior. Knight of Wands in the Tower could be someone who was very in and out with you. And then maybe when they um, came back in to speak to you, you kind of, you know, cut ties with them where you're like, I'm not dealing with this anymore. Like it's either you're here to stay or like, you know, you can just, um, you know, be gone for good. Because with the Knight of Wands in the Tower, what essentially that does talk, speak about inconsistency, but this person, it's almost like in their feelings, they did not expect you to close the door on them or they did not expect you to not be patient with them, whether it's the second time around, third time around, fourth time around, right? There's something very unexpected about the way that you've reacted to them the last time that you guys spoke. And this could even be someone who wants to rush in and speak to you, but they feel like something is awaiting them, whether it's like, you have a piece of humble pie for them or you're going to make something very clear to them like they're anticipating like something being very something happening very abruptly and it's more so pertaining to communication like something that you have to say something that you figured out on your own that they feel like you're going to bring to the forefront and with the five of swords uh you know we have the temperance the knight of wands and the tower it definitely is someone who's thinking about making peace with you but there's an energy of inconsistency there is an energy of needing to release something whether it's a way of being whether it's a way of thinking in order to actually pursue a bond with you and i'm getting something about attention like some of you may feel like either this person like sometimes you have their attention sometimes you don't or it's something about them thriving off attention i keep getting that word persistently some of you could be dealing with a scorpio Ten of Cups, Seven of Wands. Yeah, very defensive because of how things fell apart between the both of you. Ten of Cups, Upright, and Temperance means this person still thinks about being in a connection with you, but there's something they need to release. And the Tower could also speak about divine intervention, something occurring the way it's supposed to so that it can lead the both of you in a new direction or you guys can come together but in a more stable way. And with the Seven of Wands, again, guys, Knight of Wands, there could be something this person is not able to discuss with you right now or they're not willing to discuss it with you right now seven of wands could be very defensive energy someone who's uh, a little bit on guard they don't trust the situation although they they're not really um being open to either being vulnerable or actually talking about what's on their mind three of pentacles hanged man yeah this is someone who is thinking about working something out with you thinking about a mutual agreement but with the hanged man that's more so about stagnancy but it also speaks about someone like feeling like they need to look at something in a different light more so look at things from your perspective so i will say this person cares because they care about how you will receive what they want to do or what they want to say but there's something here that uh, you know that i can't deny with the seven of cups two of swords queen of wands knight of wands that they need to release or there's something like like an energy of someone who may have a lot of emotions for you, but then they mask it with like a different lifestyle. I know that sounds a bit confusing, but that's how I'm receiving the download. Like someone who may have emotions for you, but they feel like, well, I'm non-committal or I haven't been in a commitment all my life. So I don't know how to change that now. Something feels very new to this person about you, about this connection. And that's what's causing uh, them, you know, like some sort of stagnancy when it comes to creating change. Four of swords, the moon. I see the silence between the both of you, if I'm being completely honest, because with the three of pentacles and the hanged man, it is someone who's thinking about how to make things right with you, but four of swords and the moon could be someone who's healing in silence or someone who is just choosing to be silent with you at this time. What's the moon? The seven of swords, the fool card, the three of swords, okay. The five of wands. Yeah, th this could be external, their external environment. This could be someone who's really worried about the opinion of others if you guys were to come together here. But the moon and the seven of swords is just letting me know that you may not trust this individual or the situation. Seven of swords, five of wands could be someone who's trying to sneak away from another situation to make amends with you or to have a new beginning with you. I don't see this as... um. Like I see it as someone who wants a new start with you, but it's coming off as like a false start because there's something that is still active or ongoing that your person has yet to release. So I feel like what's hidden from you is they're dealing with a lot right now, whether it's drama, whether it's, uh, you know, uh, some sort of an internal battle that they're facing and they're keeping it to their self. Is there a desire to come forward? Yes, but I don't feel like there's something to do with divine timing. There's something to do with even divine intervention, like I said, with the tower card. Like, 
if you're not speaking to this person right now, you um, it's it's supposed to be that way because if you were to speak to them right now, I feel like you would be at more of a confused state than you currently are just because of what this person is dealing with or what they're keeping hidden. And if this person is coming forward to communicate with you, it may be a false start because they're coming in with the full card energy. But behind that, we have the moon, the seven of swords and the five of wands, which is something that they're still um, holding back from you. So it's like, I want to fix things with Pisces, but I need to let go of this, but I'm not ready to let go of this yet. Or I, I want to fix things with Pisces, but, uh, you know, I need to, uh, you know, create some sort of change, which I don't know how to go about that as of yet. Because they have a desire to speak to you and be with you, but there's also an energy of them not really being completely transparent about some sort of battle that they're facing. Whether it's, you know, with friends or family, or it's more so like, you know, mental conflict or something that they're battling on their own here. So in the potential outcome, I see someone, you know, thinking about you and I see if they were to reach out to you, it would definitely be after a period of silence with the moon as well as the four of swords. And with the three of swords, seven of swords, five of wands, um, you know, they're taking a leap of faith towards you while they're dealing with some sort of hurt or while they are dealing with some sort of drama. Okay. So my wonderful Pisces, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.